And I missed the first moment. Sorry about that. That was my bad. We had a ghoul pull, <laughs> which cancelled the Ancient of War. I was just a second too late. <clears throat> and got uh, immediately confused. This kind of a Lucy classic. Maybe a slight mistake by Moon, not placing the Ancient of War more safely. Because out of all the good undead players, Lucy is the one who loves doing this pull the most. It comes at a price, though. It means that he has no lumber income for a long time. And also no shop, no rod. Has to go for a necropolis. As the necro doesn't cost any lumber. Only gold. Does every race have a building that only costs gold? Lumber mill, war mill, necro, graveyard. I think for elf, everything costs lumber, right? Except for the entangled gold mine, I guess. I, th I think even the, the hunter's hall costs lumber, right? It's like 50 lumber or 100 or something. Anyways, Keeper couldn't really creep because there was no Ancient of War, so now he's harassing with the Hunter's Hall. Keeper hunts opening. Oh, big last hit. Oh, the Keeper got it. Oh, that was, that was kind of a big mistake by Lucy. That shouldn't really happen. That's a big deal. This might prevent his level 2. So we got a sacrificial skull. Normally against the keeper, a tower push isn't the best idea, especially against keeper hunts. Forces are under attack. Tech begins, and we still have another Acolyte. That's the cool thing about having a second Necro, of course. You can still make Echoes. That's a lot of ghouls, by the way. A town is under siege. And with this amount of ghouls, Lucy should be able to expand easily. There's a Wisp here. Might be able to figure it out. So it's a Tech with an expansion. Something that normally in the past always night elves were considered to be able to do. Here we got the Tree of Life coming up proxy. With the Keeper now on level 2. I think the Wisp didn't actually see the expansion, but we can probably put two and two together. Oh, wait, there's not enough lumber. Because he can't actually start the expansion for quite some time. But he can continue to creep very fast. I think he pulled a few too many ghouls at the start. Keeper was ignored. And... Is he making an AP here? My, my, my. Yeah, it's like Lucy should have been able to get this expansion up. And if you get two base, two base as undead... That's a great position against the Keeper, but Lucy gives it the expansion here for no good reason, really, I think. If he can cancel the Tree of Life, though, he's in a good spot. DK level 3, very strong at this time. Oh, but he's not checking the proxy. I don't know if he would have had enough damage to take out the tree. Not sure. We have a Demon Hunter second. And now Moon can decide to go air or lures. And is lures. DK finds the Tree of Life, but now it is certainly too late. Best he can do is hunt wisps.
I was trying to surround him here and find a kill, maybe, but that's almost impossible to do. Staff back home. And Lucy still has a decent chance to win this game. Tier 3 timing with Frenzy. We are all very aware of how strong that can be. A player's forces are announced yeah. under siege. Should be here gonna be taken out, but by some time. And time is what Moon needs. He needs to creep this demon badly. The keeper has to sacrifice his own levels. He has to forgo level three for some time. Lich also seems pretty late, right? Did he forget about the Lich for some time here? But the benefit is that DK is getting lots of experience. Should be a fast level 4 for him. Interesting position on the Ancient of Wonders. Wouldn't Ancient of Wonders here be better, maybe? Uh, maybe he's gonna lose it. Ring of Region for the Demon is very nice. But he doesn't have bonus HP, doesn't have bonus armor. This is all something that he would love to get. And now both heroes should be able to reach level 3 before the undead timing hits. Frenzy coming, destroyer coming. And the Demoner does manage to get the very important level 3 before the push. The item is the ring, also pretty good. Seems like a small item for this camp, right? It's not the easiest camp ever. Heavenfall, of course, one of the newest maps in the pool. Small map, but seemingly easy to double expand on. Pretty interesting. Seems like also the map is being quickly picked up by the players. Seems to have a lot of fans among... Uh, you know, observers and players. Time is ticking for Lucy. Oh, and Snare on the Fiend. That's an opportunity. Fiend wall dodges the coil. Nicely done. And one coil might be all that the DK can use. The Fiend still goes down. But the Demon Hunter is surrounded. But there is a staff perfectly in time. Many things are coming together nicely here. Wait, was it only one field killed? I guess it only was. There was also lots of mana burned, which is a big deal. Here we see the cannibalize again for Lucy. He's one of the few undeads who uses it. Moon keeps being active. Big item here. Oh no, wait, I think it's only like pendant of energy here, right? So it's not that big. Yeah, crystal ball in this case. Item drops on this map seem to be fairly weak compared to other maps. Alright, haunted scald mine, or rather the Tangled, taken out. Demon Hunter taking a lot of damage right away. Has to use the heal pot. Moon's trying to delay the fight until there's no more mana on any of the undead heroes. Demon in trouble again, but there's the staff. Moon gonna pull back Dryads in decent numbers, but without any upgrades. But more Dryads are coming, being produced two at a time. Demon is back, fully healed again. Quick look at the moon juice. There's a bit of juice left, but not that much, really. Ghoul's having difficulty here finding good targets. Oh, Naga is the target for moon. Takes her out. Demon is hurt, but being pulled back. The ring is helping out. The double ring, in fact. We we'll use the staff. Now the demon is kind of exposed. But again, there's no mana for the nuke. Solid play. Very good all around by Moon. Lost almost no Dryads. 
the mana was again able to heal. Making perfect use of the moon juice. Now the moon juice is gone. But it's gonna be uh, night time again. Very soon. Moon here looking absolutely in control. There seems to be going down. One more tangle, a couple of right clicks. GG is called, and Lucy's troubles continue. Which is a shame. Because Lucy could have been in a really good spot this game. Like, this weird expansion on the way to tier 2. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but this game it could have worked out perfectly. If you just protected his expansion and forced the game into a 2 base 2 base scenario, this would have been great for him. But for no good reason, really. He just left his expansion undefended. He mismatched his lumber by a bit. And with the keeper there preventing the expansion play, Moon was in control. Map 2, however, is Lucy's pick, I think. And that is Tight Hunters. Thank you very much. <laughs> I want a sheet on my bed with the resub. It says, uh, keep it up. Best greetings. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen your name before. This is a name I would remember normally. Been there. Um, let's hop into map number two. Tide Hunter is also a very popular fast expansion map. Of course, this time, when I'm in the game instantly, he doesn't do the ghoul pull. It's gonna be a more conventional opening. Tython is also a very good map for a keeper. Or perhaps, the better way to say that is it's not a very good map for a demon hunter. Keeper, of course, always works on every map. And it is the Keeper, especially against Lucy, you know, who's kind of a tricky player, who's kind of a cheesy player. I think Keeper should mostly be the better choice. Micro Jordan. With the resub, thank you. It says, greetings, Remo and Chad. I wish a wonderful Sunday of Warcraft. Yes, indeed. Praise the Lord. On this beautiful Sunday. A player's forces are under I hope you guys, wherever you live, also have a beautiful Sunday. Here it really is. Beautiful. Today is a warm and sunny in central Germany. Thank you, Gipan, with the reset as well. It says, hope you're having a great Sunday and no hangovers. And if you are hang having a hangover, I think the best cure is have another beer. <laughs> as uh, as messed up as that sounds, <laughs> that is oftentimes the best cure. But then that day sometimes turns into another, you know, drunken day and the next day you have another hangover so it might not be the best solution in the end but what I noticed if you drink only tequila and nothing else when you're drinking the hangover is way 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 more manageable at least for me all right Lucy again trying with a fast expo Gets the whiz. That's level two. That's a slight mistake by Lucy. Shouldn't really, I mean by Moon. Shouldn't really have allowed that last hit. Of course, he wanted to get the money detonate. But there was a second skull anyway, so this really wasn't worth it at all. Oh, surround on the keeper. Well done by Lucy. It's going to force the TP pretty easily. It's going to also force a lot of Moon Juice. Can the Treants get out of range? Oh, yeah. Nice movement. Is under siege. But this Ziggurat is definitely finishing. What's Moon doing? Are we going to see all in against it? I think so. 
Oh, yes, I do think so. It's something the ghouls should be scouting for, especially this area right here. Very popular for APs. Keep her in the north. Trying to distract. If these APs get found, by the way, Moon's in big trouble. His staff is available, so a surround wouldn't be the end of the world. It's kind of good for Moon. He's keeping Lucy really busy here. And there's no ghoul scout. Oh, that's a big mistake by Lucy. You have to be scouting with ghouls. Oh, and look at that. Archer and Huntress in the north with Treants. That's going to be a cancel as well, I think. Should be. Oh, and there's no dust! They can just hide here! Oh, Lucy with a couple of big mistakes. No ghoul scout and no dust. Definitely a problem. And now the time has been bought. Ancient of War as well. So this is pretty cool. We don't have an ancient double Ancient of War at the start. He's getting, he was getting the APs up first, and then he's going for double Ancient of War to go for Glaives. This is a really well executed push by Moon right here. Thank you, Heiner Müller, with the resub as well. It says, uh, thanks for all the enthusiastic Walker 3 casting. Always a pleasure to hang out here. That is a very nice message. Thank you, buddy. And Buttcrumb, thank you for the gifted sub to Chris Drummer. The game sound is a bit loud. Okay, I'm going to turn it down. Panic. Oh, counterattack by Lucy. All the ghouls across the map. Oh, the keeper might be dead. Keeper staffed into a surround. Oh my god. All oh, the trains are stuck. <laughs> What's going on here? Pretty smart move to counterattack. Oh, it's uprooting. But the keeper couldn't get out. Oh my god, what the hell? No expansion though, and here's APs. This is a weird game. He's got enough gold to go for the Keeper Res. It's really looking pretty good for Lucy. Oh, the tree is trying to get to the trees. Oh my god, he's gonna lose it. Oh my god, he's gonna lose it. What? Oh, and the Keeper's getting none of this experience. Oh, the staff. Bro, the staff. GG. Alrighty. Guess what? We are going to map number three. That was a weird game. About seven minutes. And, uh, yeah. Looked like a perfect hole, but Lucy very smartly going for the counterattack. If the Keeper doesn't staff himself into a surround, does he hold there? I think he probably holds there, right? Whoopsie daisy. Pretty fun game though. And good for us, bringing us to a third game. And with that, the decider. The map will be Northern Isles. Thank you, Buttcrumbs. Three more, two more gifted subs to Rolia, Rolia Tis Taylor and Sweet Anita. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, third map would be kind of a surprise, a big surprise honestly, if Moon here is eliminated by Lucy 
That would also be a big helo swing. Can Lucy do it? Who's going to be able to keep his nerves here on this decider map? Three. The player who failed here will still have a chance next weekend. Next weekend we're going to have two more days of open qualifiers, of course. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Baby, baby. We have a neutral hero build right here. This is one of the many reasons why I and many people in the Warcraft scene are big fans of Moon. You never know what you're going to get. And he's always been a big innovator. Hin and Yo with the resub. Thank you, thank you. So, this should be a Beastmaster then. Seems like against the Lucy Cheese, you mostly want to have a strong early game hero. Beastmaster fits the bill. Could a Dark Ranger work on this map? Not really, right? This is the only really good Dark Ranger camp. Seems like the Beastmaster is just a bit better. Oh, no skull this time. There he is! Gish Eagle Eye, the Beastmaster, with the Polar Bear. Here on Northern Isles, it seems like the polar bears are not yet close to being extinct, unlike in the real world. So it's just bear harass. Interesting. Oh, TK going for the circlet. Happy style. If you can see the last here, that would be huge. That would prevent level 2 Beastmaster. Oh, it's so close! Oh, he was half a second too late. First bear slaughtered. And we're just teching, I guess. Lucy a bit later with the tech. Can start it now. Oh, is he gonna go hawk maybe? Normally I hate the hawk, but against ghouls it can be kind of funny. But of course the quill beasts are way better, especially against possible gargoyles. A player's forces are under attack. And this should be a pretty fast level 3 beastmaster. Creep this green camp. Creep the natural, level 3, expansion time. This build seems to be coming together pretty well. I'm not sure about this harassing DK. I think Lucy could have just power crept level 3 with full mana, with full HP, and then he could have gone level 3 DK harassing. I imagine that would have been a lot stronger. Players' forces are under attack. A lot of archers here. Is he playing Beastmaster solo? I saw a game before by him where he did play Beastmaster solo. Here's 
the big cold beast. Level three. We do have a dust this time. But uh, still no level three DK. The creeping here is pretty slow, honestly. Death Knight should certainly be level three by this point in the game. He's gonna get it now from the ghouls at the green. It's all, you know, a bit slower than you would like, ideally. Are we gonna see a Naga? No lores? Ah, oh, no. There we go. Lores coming. But Moon again with the cancel. And Lucy isn't finding the cancel at the same time. He's getting distracted way too much by these summons. Could have brought a couple of ghouls, brought off necromancy, and cancelled his expansion easily. This expansion should not be allowed to come up so easy. A town is under siege. Scouted now. But I think it's too late. Oh my god, it is Beastmaster Solo. I love it! Oh, now I remember where I saw it. It was Lawlight versus Happy. Maybe like a month ago or two. And looked really good for a long time. But then Happy did what Happy does. And of course the idea is that to effectively deal with Queen... Beastmaster summons, you want to have a decent number of destroyers, at least two, preferably three. But if you have three destroyers, that is a very bad matchup, of course, against Dryads. And also kind of archers, you could argue. Where's the Angel of War, by the way? Oh, it's up here. Oh, it's getting the cast on the slaughterhouse. Oh my god. Solo Beastmaster, baby. I think this game is already over. <laughs> Not to make the cast too unexciting, but yeah, I mean... Destroyer timing is absolutely nowhere close. Shouldn't say it's over, though. Uh, Lucy could still win this game by relying on very strong heroes. If he gets a third hero, say maybe a Naga... And gets very high hero levels with good levels. It doesn't matter if it's one base versus two base. The end can still win. But first, he does need very strong heroes. Look at the creeping by Moon, dude. He's taking the red camp already. I don't even know what the best Beastmaster items would be. Probably like Ring of Protection and Aura items. What do you think, Toxie? What are the best Beastmaster items? Katka's Pipe? It's nice for the Beastmaster. It is nice for the bears. It's kind of useless for the Dryads. You have more than enough dispel anyways. Useful. I think just tanking up the Beastmaster might be the best thing. Bonus armor, maybe bonus strength. But I'm really not sure what his best items are. Tinker third. Wow, I haven't seen that in quite some time. Used to be very popular against Dryads for the pushes, but then was phased out over time in favor of Naga. Third base coming here for Moon, and only now the first statue. That Slaughterhouse Cancel was such a big deal. Sells the pendant, sells the gloves, time to get some scrolls, and in one. Oh, he has a backpack, lol. We got the level 3 Blink Bash Bear expansion, taking quite a bit of damage here. But look at that, the bear just chasing after the statue. Oh, that's so sick. 
That's so sick. But yeah, these masks are getting nuked. Oh, Ruin Braces, of course. Ruin Braces would have been the best item, probably. Oh, Beastie has to staff out. Oh, my lord. That was 50 HP. He almost died right there. But look at all the summons. Look at all the dryads. Look at all the archers. Oh, so many kills. Is he going to get level 6? Oh, that's pretty far away. Crazy fast creeping, though. Super fast level 5 Beastmaster. The Blink Bash Bear. Ruling the day. And that is... GG by Lucy. Moon wins map 3. Moon does qualify for the closed qualifier.